Now today, I get to knock one more off of my to-do list. This one comes from Jim Vatter. It's Teo's Danger Baby. Now I'm so glad he recommended this pattern because it was really a lot of fun to tie. So who is Teo Bacalar? Well, there's a great interview with him over on Jason Kloss's blog, Tenkara Talk. Check that out if you're interested. I'll put a link in the description or check it out if you're a Tenkara fisherman. He's got a great active blog. Now, Teo was not a professional fisherman or tire. He was actually a Marine in the Royal Dutch Marines and then a teacher at one of their state prisons for about 35 years. But in 1990, he visited the United States and at the Tying Conclave in West Yellowstone was really the first one to introduce nymphs with a gold bead head. Now, it's kind of hard to imagine with all the bead head nymphs we have today that they weren't really popular here before 1990. And it sounds like we have Teo Bacalar to thank for that. Now, I've never met Teo, but from reading Jason's interview with him and hearing Tim Camisa talk about him, he sounds like really quite a character. Now about today's pattern, Teo's Danger Baby. This is a super simple fly, really cool looking, and you know this thing's gonna be a fish catcher. I think y'all are gonna like it. There it is in the vise, Teo's Danger Baby. Pretty cool looking pattern and a super simple tie. Now common sizes for this, it's gonna be 14 to 18. I'm gonna go with a 16. This is a standard length hook, but it is a two extra heavy. And we are gonna use two threads for this. First one is fluorescent green. And I'm gonna catch this in right in the middle. And I'm gonna let it lay flat, which might give us a cleaner tag at the back end. But go ahead and wrap, put some wraps well around the bend of the hook. And my thread is starting to split up on me a little bit, but I think we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna take it back up over on itself. And right there where my thread is, everything back of my thread is pretty much gonna be my tag. And I'll go ahead and wrap it up right here and then do a, do a half hitch right here, or you could just do a whip finish. Or a couple half hitches should be just fine. Now switch up your thread to your black. And for this one, do whatever size you want. You can go ahead and 70 denier, 140, whatever's your common thread size. But let's go ahead and take the lay of base right back down to the front of that tag. Now you'll see I left this tag right there. I'm gonna use that as a rib. Now you could use a wire if you want, but I think thread is gonna be just fine. So the next thing we're gonna catch in, just a little bit of amber, Zelon, Antron, and I'm gonna catch it in right behind the bead because that bead's still a little bit loose on me right there. Maybe a half an inch or so in front of the bead because we're gonna fold it back over and trim it in one of the last steps. So just catch that in right on top. A few wraps going back to make sure you're secure. Go ahead and snip this off. Now with my thread about halfway down, I'm gonna catch in two strands Peacock Girl. And what I've been doing lately, instead of snipping off the brittle ends, if I can, I will just tie it in a couple inches back and then I can break them off. It saves me about three seconds if I just do this right here and they're in there pretty secure. So I'm gonna leave my thread right maybe a third of the way back. Envision we're gonna fold this back and that's where we want it to be tied off. But I'm just gonna wrap this peacock girl. I'm not gonna spin it as a rope, but just wrap it straight up to where your thread is and then we'll wrap that that tag of the thread for a rib here in just a second. Okay, catch this off right here. Two wraps, but leave that hurl. We're gonna use it for front part in just a second. Now I'm gonna counter wrap this thread, just a few turns right here, which will really help secure this hurl. Now what we want to do is fold this back over on itself, this Antron, Zelon, whatever you're using. Couple of wraps right there. Now let's take our thread right back behind the bead and we're going to wrap this in the same way we wrapped the rear half. Just four turns right here and it's not going to take too many, two or three probably at the most to finish off this head. And 
And when I tie a fly like this with peacock curl right up against a bead, I don't use head cement. What you can do is put a small drop of super glue right there and then put a few extra wraps. But what I usually do, just two, three turn wet finishes, and that has always made it secure enough for my fishing. Now this pattern, there's not gonna be a lot of cleanup, but you do wanna trim this wing. So I'll grab it, punch it all together, and then snip it right back here about the back of the bend. And there we go, Teo's Danger Baby. Very simple pattern, very easy to tie, pretty cool looking bug. So that's it my friends, I appreciate y'all watching. Take care and we'll see you next time.